What's going on, folks? Painless. Uh, running a couple errands. Uh, you know, I, I talked about uh, you know this, you know just doing YouTube, and you know I've been on here for a while, and I've never, you know, all the things that I've said. You know, um, that you hear a lot of your, your popular YouTubers, uh, you know, in the quote-unquote manosphere. <laughs> the manosphere. And, uh, you know, it's, it's nothing different. And this is not me trying to say or, or trying to push the line and say, hey, I came up with these things first and whatnot. No, this ain't this ain't that. I'm just saying that I see people uh, kind of being led astray, in, in my opinion, um, with some of these these um, dating coaches. And stuff, and you know, a lot of these guys are, from what I'm understanding, charging and charging a uh, high price for basic information. You know, this whole idea. And me, painless. I've never uh, been a part of the manosphere. I have no aspirations to be a part of the this manosphere. Uh, you know, it's just a group of guys that, as we see. Uh, who fall in and out. And I, I you know, I'm in the people who used to come after me. <laughs> people used to come after me back in the day. Uh, and I, I, you know, I would never respond. And I have, I've gotten cool or, 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 or it's cool with, uh, shout out to brother Kevin Smith. <laughs> Uh, crazy brother, man, from the crib, and he used to come at me. He, <laughs> he used to come after me and uh, call me everything except a child of God. But hey, uh, he's a good brother. Uh, I ain't talked to him in a while. Shout out to Kevin Smith. And uh, but one thing I've noticed, and I never told him that, and I, uh, but it's something that I recognize. Because there was other guys that used to come after me that 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 Kevin used to you know kind of collab with and and uh, and join forces with to come at me and I used to sit back and watch. I said, you know what? And I, like I said, I never told them that. I said they're gonna fall out. <laughs> they're gonna fall out because not on not because of of Kevin Smith. It was more so I saw the individuals he was he was joining forces with, and they the way they did be, business it was real messy. They were some messy dudes, and I ain't got nothing against those guys, uh, Mike Mills and <laughs> it's your boy Mike Mills, and then uh, that's what he's always saying used to be. I thought that shit was so corny, man. And then you had uh, Lamar, um, L. Dot, Lamar Willis. <laughs> Man, these some guys, these dudes was, you know, it was, uh, <laughs> they were uh, something else. But uh, not to harp on that. But, you know, Jordan, when, when you get cool with these guys online, you know, I see a lot of pandering. I see in a lot of, of just, hey, trying, you know, just, Overly trying to be cool, like, hey man, this the guy over here. Yeah, he's a good brother. Go check him out. Uh, you no, know, real good brother. You know, brother. you know this. And then you, I'm seeing a lot. It's like some schoolyard shit. Like he the popular dude. You know, so Kevin Samuels the popular dude that everybody caping for and trying to show their allegiance to. You know. 
And then, you know, it's, it's, you know, people talking about we got to save Kevin Samuels. Now, I, 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 I listened to Kevin Samuels before, but he's saying nothing that I particular didn't know. Um, I mean, there's some new things, but after a while, all his messages and videos sound the same. You have these, these women that get on there for clout. And I've always said this, especially about black folk. Black folks will sell their booty hole just for some fame and attention. And I've, and I've gone extensively and given uh, personal, uh, personal examples that I've seen with my own eyes. And I can't understand for the life of me that these women get up here on, on Kevin Samuel's show knowing damn well he going to, um, it don't over -talk me. <laughs> hey, wait, hey, wait, 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 wait. You average at best. All the, and this is no shot at Kevin This is what I'm observing. And also I'm observing these guys out here that are really just, you know, He's the king of all kings kind of stuff. And to me, that's not a knock. It's just an observation. And again, like I said in the beginning parts of this video, I don't, um, you know, the manosphere, they just, you know, a couple guys that, that use other guys for, for, uh, for financial reasons. You know, I'm hearing guys out here paying six, seven hundred dollars for packages on how to talk to damn women. And I don't understand that. You out here trying to talk to women and you paying hundreds of dollars for that? But y'all do it. And then, you know, you try to get in touch with these guys and and you can't. And, you know, and then when you call in, they, they talk to you any kind of way and all this stuff. This like when I went after, no, not went after, he came at me. When I clapped back at Mad Voodoo Man, which I, I don't, uh, don't regret one iota, I would do it again. Uh, I used to listen how he would talk to people and, and hey, if you don't donate, I'm shutting it. Like, you know, and that, and then, you know, uh, when I clap back at O'Shea, I do it again. I, I don't regret it one iota. I would do it again. But, you know, I sat back and said, you know, hey, I'm 42 years old. I'm not, I'm not about to, you know, uh, engage in this foolery. And then if you if there's more smoke, you know, it's more like go back and listen to that other video I did. Because I ain't gonna keep I ain't gonna keep going back and forth with you making videos. If you still had that same energy, then I'm on what you on. Then go revert back to the video I did about you initially in the first place. That's how I look at it, you know? And I've always said this, if it's so much beef, if it's so, if it's that serious, if it's really that serious, then why don't y'all meet up, put on the gloves, if you want headgear, you can put that on, and y'all duke it out. No guns, you bring some of your partners, and of course the other dude, or female, bring some of her girls or partners and y'all just go to town. Y'all squab it out. But but see, a lot of y'all, y'all play, it's play fake beef. So all, this, all this playing and faking beef which brings me to these individuals. Fresh and fit. Now, let me say this. I never sat and watched one fresh and fit episode. I never sat down and watched one Ab and Preach episode, podcast, YouTube video, 
anything like that. Never have. Until of late. And you know, I look at these guys <laughs> like fresh and fit, man. They um they kind of remind me of the guys that you know had you know there was a type of guys that I don't know if I should you no know, I know I did share the story and how I had a roommate that that told on me to another girl that I had brought to my barracks and uh, and I told you how I told my platoon sergeant at the time well my squad leader I said, he's got to go. He's got to go. I, I, can't, I, can't, I can't bunk with nobody that tells on me like that. And everybody understood. Everybody understood. I mean, from the platoon, so even, our, even our platoon leader, a little second lieutenant, shunned his ass. Like, we, he got banished. He got exiled. And this, these were—I mean, everybody in my platoon. I was my first platoon. I was in a tank unit, an armor unit, and it was nothing but guys. And we didn't play that Blue Falcon telling snitching ass shit like that. So he, and, you know, he got shunned, and it was for in, in my platoon. You got. You got white guys from Iowa, West Virginia. Uh, you got Hispanics from California, Puerto Rico. You got brothers from the South. You got brothers from D.C., uh, Detroit. But you know what? It was one thing that we didn't, all of us from these different places and ethnicities that was in my platoon, there's one thing that we did not play. We did not play that snitching bullshit at all. So when he was shunned, he was shunned by other white guys. Brother, he got shunned. It, <laughs> we be in the smoke shack. <laughs> and a dude would just have lit his cigarette. Probably didn't even take three puffs off that mug. When that dude came to the smoke shack, motherfuckers is left. Because that's how much love and that that's how much love and respect I had in my unit. I did my job. I, would, I did what I helped other um, battle buddies. And I was never, I never, I never told on nobody. I never put nobody in no uncompromising situation like he did me. So off the strength of that, they shunned his ass. And he was on every shit detail you can think of. And eventually he got about the doghouse, but people were still suspect. <laughs> I remember I had this little <laughs> white guy, he really hit horn. He from Nebraska. When he found out that shit, he was like, fuck that snitching ass little motherfucker. Can't stand motherfuckers like that. You know, and I mean, people was mad, man. People wanted to put hands, and that's why they moved him out of my room. Because he couldn't stay there with me no more. In the platoon, every, it wasn't no bit. Everybody knew. Got to get this guy up out of here. But yeah, you know, I look at, um, here we have, you know, that's what these fresh and fit guys remind me of. The one, you know, even their little voice kind of irritates me a little bit. You know, they sound like they try to be the smartest guys in the room. Um, and <laughs> like you say, you know, painless, I thought you didn't watch their material. Well, it's not until of late. Do you know, I was watching one as of late, 
and you had this girl, and this is how I know that they're full of shit, because they don't practice what they preach. There was an instance in which there was a female, because I guess they love having females up there drinking and, you know, and trying to show and cap, which is a big problem. You know, if you, if you all about manosphere and you all about showing other guys how to get women, the why your panel is full of goddamn dames. I mean, why do you have, why do you, why are you inviting all these women into the male space if that's what you about? But see, I know why it's capping. But anyway, I was watching this girl, I guess something happened. And I saw this girl stomping on the, the, the main, what's the dude, Myron, like stomped on his feet and said, I ain't going nowhere. I'm not leaving. And you know, he went into his little defensive mode voice that <laughs> I could tell he doesn't know how to handle women. I can tell. And I said that the internet, you can be whoever the hell you want to be. And you can stunt and cat and do all this shit. And uh, I can tell he can't handle women. Because that girl was stomping the shit out of his foot. <laughs> I like, damn, man. you. And see, when a woman can do that, you know, when I see women talking crazy to their boyfriends and husbands, and the sh and it, when the shit has been going on so long, you've been with the girl for like eight years, ten years, and you so too, you 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 so deep into the damn relationship to where she know you ain't gonna do nothing, and that's what that dude Myron like. Damn, painless, you coming out the fresh and fit? Nope. I'm coming off the day stunt. I'm coming off the, I'm tired of seeing people capping and stunting and having people, because that's why I see society is. Even with this damn COVID, I ain't gonna say too much. I don't wanna get shadow banned. But y'all just believe every goddamn thing y'all see on television. Y'all run out here and got this goddamn vex. You know what? Let me <laughs> let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me, let me pull out. Okay. Pull out a little bit. But uh, that's what I'm. That, that's what I'm tripping on. You got guys out here saying, "I'm a king. I make millions. Look at me. I make all this money." You know, why don't you have all this money? You're a piece of shit because you don't have money. I'm the best. When in all actuality, if you're making all this goddamn money, if you're making all this money and you moving and shaking, why the fuck you on YouTube every damn eight hours? Millionaires don't sleep. Millionaires work on the weekend. No, YouTubers that need fucking money that rely solely off YouTube likes and views never sleep. Uh, uh, never take weekends off. Y'all ain't fooling nobody. Y'all ain't doing no stocks and bonds. Y'all ain't doing no real estate. Y'all making YouTube checks. That's why y'all be... Do you know... I see, I see YouTube live streams that were eight fucking hours long. Like what? <laughs> like what the fuck? And it's not right or wrong, but it's just it's 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 misleading. But yeah, I saw this girl, I saw, um, she's stopping the shit out of his foot and, and disrespecting him and, and, and all this foolishness, man. 
And see, when I see a guy like that, I already know he damn, he, he can't handle a woman. He damn sure can't handle a guy, which brings me to Exhibit B, in which you had a dude run up over there. Why are they doing the show? Now, again, Payless, I thought you ain't want No. These are snippets that I saw. Seven hours long. Ten hours long. The actual event in question. So when I see that, I, uh, you know, a dude ran up over there talking crazy to Myron. Again, trying to check him, and you know, and then I wonder, man. See, when you had that much strife in your life, that that's very telling to me. When you have sloppy, like I told, like I said earlier, about the company you keep, like I said about with with. Uh, with um, Brother Kevo, I knew he was going to fall out with them dudes. And that's how they was doing. Arguing, they be cool, then they damn talking about each other, calling each other's mamas, wishing death on them. And I always said this, go on and fight. If it's that serious, if the beef is that, is, is that deep, Go on and squab it out. And be done with it. But yeah, you know, I, this guy, <laughs> you know, he was calling out the dude fresh and, you know, in his apartment and, you know, and, you know, and the dude was very emotional and he was capping too. Um, and I said, you know, we live in this cap society, man, where, you know, people do anything. You got people killing each other. You got people killing themselves on live <laughs> for likes that they ain't never going to see. It's ridiculous. And, you know, these Manosphere guys, man, they think. They think they saying shit and know shit that we don't. Now, I have heard of Devin, Donovan Sharp. You know, he's a, you know, I've listened to him. But he's another stunner. Do you know he had a, <laughs> these girls, man, had this girl, this Puerto Rican girl over there talking about telling Donovan Sharp yeah you uh, you just look like you sit around all day you look like you ought to, don't work out and uh, play video games and he's another dude with an annoying voice <laughs> do you know and she was saying all this shit to him do you know what this dude did the next day he did like an hour and 30 minute live stream, I guess in his gym, giving people his workout regimen. <laughs> you see what that woman made him do? Now these are guys, these are the guys you paying seven, eight hundred dollars for to learn how to talk to women. Where that woman with a couple sentence, sentences manipulated his ass, made him go do a video showing himself, look, I work out. These are your leaders. <laughs> and, you know, people may hear this video and say, Payless, you hate. No, I ain't hating. I'm this, I, I, I don't like stunting and capping. I don't like that. I hate, I hate on on that ideology and practice. Capping and stunting, because that's what women do. 
and you listening to these guys, you listening to dudes with feminine behavior trying to teach you how to talk to women. That don't make no sense. When a woman make you, when a woman say some shit and make you change your whole get up, why am I listening to him for womanly advice? When a, when a female can stop on your feet in your own pad and the, there's no recourse, why am I listening to you for womanly advice? When a dude can run up in your apartment, talk shit to you, call you out, why am I listening to you for masculine, uh, alpha, so-called alpha male advice? I'm so sick. I'm hearing alpha, high value, all this bullshit. You guys sitting here talking about, yeah, I gotta take, alpha man takes uh, self-defense because if you're in self-defense technique, because if you're in a in position, an alpha should know how to handle it and a nigga run up in your house and you don't do shit. <laughs> This is where we at, folks. This is where we at. Well, people can have these nice back, you know, backs, black screen, back screens, and all this stuff. Man, I done ran to all this damn school traffic. But when, and have all these um, screens, oh, I'm about to go around this. Yes, sir. And have all these screens. You know, with, with nice backdrop, Jordans and shoes, and talking about they make all this, trying to make other guys feel like shit and stuff like that. I'm like, man. That don't make no sense. You know? That don't make no sense. Yeah, why you gotta stop me? But yeah, you know, I, I look at that man, it, it's just a bunch of clout. What is this lady doing? But yeah, it's a bunch of clout, you know? So therefore, I don't need to take advice from those guys, you know? I don't need to take advice for them because, they, they, you know, they selling wolf tickets. You know? But, um, yeah, that's all I had to say, folks. Uh, pain aside.